Hey guys, Durgens here. Welcome back to my channel. I have prepared for you another interior editorial, but before we dive in, I had to make an announcement. So here it is. For those of you who have been subscribed to my channel for wedding photography, for film cameras, digicams and so on, the thing is I want to keep this channel mainly for interior photography. I know, I know, a lot of you subscribe for wedding photography and for other kind of photography and for business tips and so on, but I have to make a sacrifice. This channel from now on will be mainly focused on interior editorials. YouTube algorithm is not so friendly, so I had to make this decision. So for those of you who wants to follow me for fashion editorials and for business tips, um, you can follow me on Dulgens official channel. So please subscribe there. The thing is, I still want to do fashion editorials and I like to do videos about film cameras and old retro cameras uh, and DG cams. So I made two more uh, specialized uh, channels. That being said, Dulgens, uh, it will be for fashion editorials and kind of a business tips. And fine cams by Dulgens will be for uh, cameras, digicams, film cameras, and everything about, uh, yeah, retro cameras. So as I said, lately I'm doing more interior editorial work and I really, really enjoy it. You know, it looks very different than wedding photography. If you compare to wedding photography and other general photography, interiors are super chill and I really enjoy lately. So for this interior shoot, the gear I've been used, uh, it's a Canon EOS R with a 35 and a 50 millimeter, my favorite two kind of lenses to shoot interiors, not too wide, not too close up, just perfect enough to shoot interiors. Now, of course you can shoot also with 24 millimeter or 85 or 100 millimeter. So um, I have other shoots that I shoot with 100 millimeter so you can see a little bit the difference but yeah it depends how much time you have to change the lenses and so on because sometimes it's super nice to shoot also with 100 millimeter but um, in general i shoot mostly with 35 and 50 millimeter and that's enough for me so i shoot between 2.0 to f8 sometimes i'm shooting also 1.6 uh, 1.8 uh, 2.5 2.5 2.8 depends on the light but if I could shoot also 1.4 which yeah my 50 millimeter is not that sharp on 1.4 but sometimes I'm shooting 1.4 
Now for the light, I most of the time shoot natural light. So in this shoot I've been using only natural light. I had a lot of light as you can see. Uh, there was a lot of windows, especially in the living room. So what I'm doing most of the time, I'm starting with the living room. You know, there is a lot of light. Open the curtains up and uh, yeah, I'm using natural light. And uh, if, if I need more light then I'm shooting longer exposures. Uh, but sometimes I might also use flash, depends. Using flash from outside to create some kind of drama lightning. But we're gonna get into this kind of lightning, artificial lightning in another video. But anyway, I've been using natural light for this uh, photo shoot, plenty of light. I like to shoot most of the time side light, um, backlight and I try to avoid direct light. That means uh, the light that comes directly from my camera uh, perspective. Now for composition, I like to keep it very clean, 
as minimalistic as possible. Um, when you do composition, make sure everything is clean to your shots. If you have stuff on your floor or is a dirt or the carpet is not straight enough, make sure that you have uh, straightened everything up, um, that the uh, objects or the furniture is not overlapping and it doesn't uh, become too busy in one spot. So that's why I'm most of the time working with a stylist. So make sure everything is as clean as possible and try to, to keep it as minimalism as possible because cleaner composition um, are much nicer, more appealing to the eye. So with composition, I like to keep it very clean, as clean as possible. I take wide shots, but not too wide. I actually like to focus on something like the couch or the, um, the table in front of the couch or, you know, the, the thing is, I don't like to have super wide shots. This is not real estate photography. This is interior editorial. That means it's uh, much different. Um, it's more focused on furniture, on styling. So overall, I like to shoot very clean composition, crops, uh, medium uh, shots, uh, crops, uh, different crops, vertical, horizontals. Um, and also a lot of lot of details. So make sure you have a lot of details because this will tell the story in a magazine. Now, when it comes to editing, I like to keep it very clean, smooth, simple, minimalist, let's say organic. I just made a video about editing, so make sure you watch that video. It's actually the last video that I did. Uh, it's the workflow from start to finish of how I edit the interior editorial. So make sure you watch that. It's a long video, I know. But if you want to learn, there you have it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some value. And if you did, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to this channel if you're new and like this video and also comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and I will see you in the next one.